Mecha like a hi, everybody. We managed to get done with my holiday stuff today in time. So I am going to be doing my regularly scheduled Subnautica Below Zero stream. The dressing is cooked. The turkey is in the brine. The kitten is really clingy because I wasn't here yesterday. The kitten needs to get his face out of my hydration. I said, out of my water. I said, get out of my water, cat. What you doing in my waters, boy? <clears throat> anyway. Huh, a thermos. I feel like I should make one of those at some point. That wasn't an item the last time I played this, I will go ahead and say that. Uh, that should be in my inventory. I'm gonna need a little bit more quartz. Let's go get some. Are there any left around here? I jacked all the quartz in the area. I got a plan today. The plan involves uh, getting a few more things crafted. And then we're gonna head on over to uh, Pay a little holiday visit to whoever that was in the uh, power armor covered in bones. Because that was cool. Hey. Hey. Come back here. I'm gonna eat you. Got uh, warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. We've got thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. <clears throat> yeah, I want to go pay her a visit, or at the very least, see how effectively we can pay her a visit. She might be too deep still. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, yeah, there were a couple of, uh... I was still charging. Laser cutter. I could make a laser cutter. I should make a laser cutter. Making the laser cutter. <clears throat> cool. Now, when we run into locked doors, we can pop them open. What does a thermos do? I'm 
That's interesting. I have no idea what this what it does. But I got it. It's taking up inventory space now. Nice. Definitely need a little bit more water supply. Oh, I remember one of the other things I wanted to do. I know I just used up a battery. We need to craft the power cell because until I find the blueprints, <coughs> until I find the blueprints that let us make a power cell charger. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I am kind of stuck having to swap the batteries out manually. And I don't want to lose the sea truck to forgot to change the batteries. Never hurts to have an extra power cell laying around. So we're gonna do ooh, there we go. We're gonna dig us up some copper. that. And I think I had another rubber Morning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Back at home. That should be able to make us another power supply. Battery. Battery. Scanner. Water. I'm surprised I haven't found the components I need to make bleach yet. Bleach was such an early item that I got in the last game. Okay, so now we got the laser cutter. We got... I'm gonna put that power cell there. I'm gonna put the... You know what? Yeah, let's just start keeping a couple of things around in here. Okay, so that was pilot last known position. So let's head on over. Let's say hi. Let's mute so I can sneeze and not blow out the microphone. Let's hope we do okay, those are big. 
That's the size of the sea truck. Cool. Maybe they'll be my friend. Sea truck fabricator module. Cool, cool. <coughs> sea flora hydrothermal vents. I get fetcher plant. Yep, nothing. Uh, nothing grabbable out of those. Big. No, I don't think he liked us. That sounds very much like a not happy. But that is lithium. That is amazingly useful stuff for vehicle and habitat construction. You are coming with me. And lithium. And getting back in the sea truck. Okay, it would probably be helpful if I angled this thing so that I could actually walk. It would be nice if the sea truck had a level on it. Lithium, 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 lithium. Salt. That's one of the reasons I love bringing the fabric. I love the fabricator module. It sucks the battery power out of the uh, sea truck itself, but whale. Oh, oh! I, you know, I gotta try to scan the whale. Whale. one of those angry little bastards all the way out there. They're still yelling. We are... Oh, you seem to be coming for me. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We are in a very different looking biome out here. Okay, didn't like that. Any 
This is neat. It did look like there was a... a cable that was coming off of this thing? Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's less that there's something in here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen and more remaining. that there's something... Further down. Did I have a beacon? Because I want to get. I want to go see what's up in the. with the pilot. Yeah, let's leave it that. Let's leave it named Mystery Cave. I like beacons. Oh. Oh, that's you that makes that sound. Hell no. Nah. Hell to the no. Nah. Okay. Let's get out and take a peek. What's that? Newt fish. Newt. Fallen lily pot. New creature discovered. Blooming raindrops. I think that was a component for our next sea truck upgrade. Also, what is this? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. What did I need for that, uh... Upgrade to the upgrade. Ruby enameled glass synthetic fibers. Nice, nice. Newt fish, can I eat that? You know what, I'm gonna salt that newt fish. Appear to be in like a little sea monkey area. Ooh, what's that? Exosuit thermal reactor. Well, it's any good we don't have an exosuit. Well, this is just a nice little area full of things. Just a ultra capacity air tank. I mean, that's a. I'm not gonna mess with your nests, I'm just scanning the garbage you make it out of. Just nickel, just straight up hanging around. Okay. It has occurred to me that I left. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. If I'm going to be doing this, I should at least get my damn 
glide out of the truck. Uh, yeah, that, that 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 should not just be in the. It's almost like an angle a bit. So we're not walking all the way uphill to get in and out of this thing. Continue poking around. This was the pilot's last known location. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Interesting. Get the stuff to make the ultra capacity tank. That'll be a nice upgrade to get. Oh yeah. <laughs> All that lithium I picked up, I could actually make the ultra capacity tank. Anomalously large mass of rock is look at it. Bye. I do want to see what's on top of all of this. are just big and up there. Let's go anywhere interesting. That's got to be scannable, right? Cool. I think we're hitting the, uh, the getting too big to move all of the, all of sea truck through. Let me, I think I'll leave you here.
antenna plant. Ooh. Omega Lab. Swim charge fins. I like that. Exterior grow beds. Oh yeah, I can start farming. Alright, let's get back inside for a second. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Swim charge fins are nice, because you can basically hold a device that has battery power and it will slowly charge it up. As you swim. Okay, so there is stuff to get in there. Ow. Okay, weird. That was my headphones. Could have sworn I charged them. I've been plugged in this whole time. Um, oh well. Let's go ahead and plug them in. Okay. What do we got? We've got a lot of new research. Uh, ragged pitch plant, antenna plant. Blooming raindrops, fallen lily pads, purple cattails, rising lily pad, tech, insulations, exterior grow beds, those are so useful. Oot fish, harmless. Leviathan glow whale. Glow whales contain several types of bioluminescence, perhaps most noteworthy are their photophores, incandescent glandular organs, found at the corners of their eyes and the pods at the tip of their sail like pectoral fins. Glow whales' blue horns believe similar to tuning forks. The horns receive waves of sound in the water and help the glow whales identify where's their pod from a distance. Harbors barnacles and algae. Leaving the lights on, just so we've got a bit of a scan bulkhead. There's a vending machine. Oh yeah, this is going to be all full of all sorts of Cool stuff that we can yoink. Warning thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. I do want to do the rest of this, but first, let's uh, recharge our air. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Nice. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Thanks, Alan. That's actually legitimately helpful, and I love that he is somehow able to load things to our to the PDA. Hmm? Anything? Anything over here? No. Single unit shells, nothing. Bulkhead divider walls. Mm -hmm. 
Let's read what this thing has to say. Geological data, nickel, ruby. Bulkhead door. Those are great. I guess you can make wider bases without as many foundation panels. Dr. Danielle Valent Valenti. Reports to Emmanuel de de Harden. Material analysis. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but... Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> All right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. That's a bad idea. Because if anybody remembers the first game, Kara is what you were sick with. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And the... Planetary defense thing wouldn't let you out unless it was... Seek fluid intake. Yeah, man, man. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Okay, we need to take a second to, uh... That Leviathan appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. Do you know what it would have been used for? Looked like Navy bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it, or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would, but the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Vital signs stabilizing. Alright. Gonna eat my newt fish. Oh. What the hell? Weird looking, but apparently. Nothing special. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, that's right. If you're not... If the modules aren't connected to power, they don't actually refill your oxygen. Seriously, uh, nuclear waste disposal. I'll tell you, there was something in there that, uh... Grow walls. Big ol' counter. Oh no, there's a nicety. Water filtration machine. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining.
oxygen. What all did we get out of that? That was nice. Uh, enzyme mutation study. Studied the first Corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Nuclear reactor. Ooh, control room. Water filter. I like that. That that'll take care of a lot of stuff for us. It's having a water filter. Oh, there's a. Okay, I'm glad I did that sweep over because there is a PDA that I have to get. Yeah, I scanned that. That looks neat. was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. I mean, if nothing else, that alone was worth the trip out. Okay. Within the range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Those are cool looking. What are those? I want to go poke them. Yeah, we are steering kind of a a load back there. How's that? Looks like sort of thermal reactors. Yeah, 
we've got a whole lot of... And a whole lot of new and fun stuff out here. Ron suit parts. Sea truck module bit. Oh, just one fragment and suddenly we got a whole new sea truck module? Cool. Oh, nope, it was just letting me know that I've identified the technology. Sea truck aquarium's kinda neat. Real-time food harvesting. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It will pick up like a few brush near certain kinds of fish, it will just joink them. Even more of them fragments. Oops. Had to have horsepower upgrade. Man, this whole place is just a Whole bunch of stuff that's really cool. Go back. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, that's cute. Astronautical Saltrans Go Vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. Oh, look at that. I am not going around inside of that until we have. Did that asshole just EMP me? Bronze suit. Go away. I don't exactly want to do too much with this ship. Without having better oxygen tanks, but... And also I'm a little... Getting a little thirsty. Oh, hey, that's the... That's the job for the...
new creature discovered. I feel like I'm being pushed towards setting up my nuclear power station. <laughs> what does that take? I've got so many new blueprints. Oh, man. Control room. Nuclear. Plasteel ingots. Lead. Power cell charger. I think I just got another step towards self-sufficiency. Hey, free power cell. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Potatoes. See those. They take up a lot of space, but uh, are worth it because. Get some, uh, make some, in make some interior grow beds, and grow food. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, so we're gonna... Alright. I keep saying it. So, real quick. Because I don't as much care about the mystery cave right now. I'm gonna leave these here so I can find my way back over here. I'm gonna go get it. Because that's like right above pilot last known location. So we don't really need that. The pilot's last known location gets us right back there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab mystery I'm gonna grab the mystery cave beacon. put it over by the spaceship. We're gonna go take care of some, uh, some home base housekeeping. Such as, you know, getting a stable supply of water.
Let's see here. We're gonna get a better oxygen tank. We're gonna get our water purifier set up. I might be able to. You know, we got around. I might be able to start getting it powered by a nuclear reactor. We'll see. Because we're gonna need it for building stuff. Metal salvage. Titanium for all sorts of ship Running. modules. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we didn't find our pilot friend. It's not to say she's not around there. Oh, freaking god. Oh, hi. That was terrifying. I'd love to explore that area some more. But right now I'd like to... Oh god, there's more of them. Sorry, fish. Detecting stone of an astronautical salt transco vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Oh, I completely forgot to... I completely forgot to put the beacon down. Ah. Uh, I'm adult. Well, you know what? I had no idea I was going to run into this one. The other one was kind of around Pilot Not Snow location. Alright. Mercury 2. Oof. Took a beating. Okay, so we know where the Mercury 2 is. It appears to be multiple ships. More lithium. I'm gonna need more of that. Yeah, just picking up lithium. We're gonna need plasteel ingots, and we're gonna need enameled glass, or that was lead.
quartz because I need to make glass. Oh, hey, there was oxygen. Oh. Seek fluid intake. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're definitely getting to the point where for a second there we're uh a little overextended. Vital signs stabilizing. We got a little overextended. That's all right. Wiring kits. Um, yeah, that was the nuclear reactor. Relaxing flight back home. In sea truck. Yeah, we got a whole lot of new and impressive doodads to work with. For instance, we've got new power cells, so I'm actually gonna swap them. Welcome aboard, Captain. Glass. Glass. everything down into titanium. Okay, so let's see here. Things we want to build. We want to build Sea Truck Aquarium Module. Sea truck upgrade to ultra high capacity tank. Power charger. Okay. I probably don't have enough for all of this. Yeah, definitely don't. Well, hmm. You know, we'll find out. Some for those. I saw plasteel ingot and synthetic fibers. <laughs> spiral plant clipping. Did I even run into spiral plants? We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the frickin' history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it <sighs> that decision cost three lives I mean, half my team they got ripped to shreds by something 
They died, screaming. Alone in the cold, dark waters. I... I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I refuse. Some of the animals on this planet, they look sick, too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Oh god, that I can't even make that because I don't have the I don't have the high capacity tank first. Well dip. Well let's take that one off of the Oh wait. I have the plan for the high capacity tank that I don't remember what I got. Okay, weird. Not even... <laughs> this, that. When did I get this? How long have I had that? Well, cool. Let's just... Jump right up to Ultra. Ho ho ho! Oh, that's so nice. Bad job of prioritizing out here, aren't we? Okay. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Start pulling stuff out of the truck. Start by getting everything that's not potatoes. So I can get as much as possible.
I have no organizational schema going on here right now. That's just... Stuff, things, and more things and stuff. Well, that worked out pretty well, didn't it? Look at that. Focus a little. All right, C truck module is gonna take Yep, we're not making any of that. So I've got enough like a plastic lingot. And so I can take the plastic, I can unpin the plastic lingot recipe. Don't need that bend anymore because I've got enough to make that. Enable glass. We're going to need more glass. And a diamond. We need a little bit more lead. Another. Uh, oh boy, we get to go back down. Into the deep. So, okay, let's, uh, let's finish. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, well, that's weird that those just don't have a skin on them. Uh, that's right, I was... Wonders of attention deficit disorder. While attempting to navigate survival in a frozen ocean. I'm missing a battery in. Although now, okay, let's go ahead and definitely pin this, because we definitely need to pin the recipe for the water filtration system. Which, glad I got a little bit more ruby, because we actually do need to make an aerogel.
will need some of this. And we're gonna need quartz to make glass. Turned around, shark. Copper. Okay, so I think my pri my priority is copper wiring for the water filter. Which, okay, I think I've got that. Definitely should not be worrying about getting too much titanium. Ah, uh, yeah, the the heat blade. I love the heat blade. Uh, whoop, hello. Dinner, 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 dinner. Your food now. Okay. Need to make glass. Glass. Copper wire. Okay, I need a little bit more copper, but now. Standing here, food. Okay, so. There's some things we need to do. Step the one. I need to get my base builder out because we got to make some expansions. up my glass on this. And make another multi-purpose room. Put back my mod station. Need to put my ladder back. But now, not in the way of this hallway. Into which we will now go get more titanium out of our lockers. and build a water filter. And let me go check on our bioreactor. Still good. Okay. Random note, Damon X Machina is 30% off. Mac okay, so that was a game that I, I don't know why, I just never picked that up. It's like, I knew it was there. 
I just kind of forgot somehow. I feel like I'm doing myself a disservice to have not played that game yet. Get back here, fish. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. No. Where do you think? Where do you think you're going? Come back here, fish. Your dinner. Just that water filtration system going. Okay, copper ore. Good. So now I can make the wiring. So now I can make the computer chip. Boy, that just looks so structurally sound, doesn't it? totally just gonna drop everything right now and start playing that game. Core, that was a game. Eat my food. Okay. Don't let it just rot in the inventory. What was that dunk noise? Chill sack. Okay, I don't need the computer chip pinned anymore. Alright, I need another diamond and another lead and a bunch of silver. So let's move our sea truck closer to the trenches. I, just so we can get in and out faster, we don't need the fabricator module and everything, so let's just leave these up here. Dive! 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 Going down into the trenches. Yeah, you can... Nom, 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 nom. Sure, good. Nom, nom. the demo first. Yeah, we can do that. Broken Mandrake. Need my resource waggler. We need diamond. Me diamonds. Wait. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, so that's the diamond bit that I need. Uh, now we need... Definitely are gonna find just silver ore laying around. Um, what the heck are you? New creature discovered. We should be looking for Argentite. Which I don't think we're finding down here. Whoa! Okay, um... Of course, it let me keep the fish, but it took my diamond. I wish there was a back button on this thing. You overshoot the... Yeah, see, I was so worried about whatever the hell that loud-ass swimming damn thing is that... Oh, hello. New creature discovered. Yeah, that. I was worried about that. Okay, hi. There's Diamond. Woof. Where's my truck? Okay. In the deep sea. Fish are scary. Most of them blinded them, multiply and repulsive freaks. Woof. I got my diamond. Now it's time to waggle for some Argentites. Argentite? Probably Argentite. We got a lot of Argentite out here. Ok, 
is also pretty good on Calvarite, too. Also, loving that new ultra capacity air tank. The ability to just swim around for a while and not give a damn is great. I think that's actually enough silver to make all three wiring kits that I see up there. Now I just need and lead. So, a lucky Galena outcropping would be... And lead! Okay. Alright, so, we got a really good air tank now. Should be able to make a whole bunch of these wiring kits. That means I can finally set up the... Set up the uh, power cell charger in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Make that other enameled glass wiring kit. Wiring kit. Wiring kit. Advanced wiring kit. How's our water purifier working? Salt. Apparently need some food. I in fact have dinner. Cook that spine fish. Good fish tastes like the sea. This fish tastes like the seabed. Tentacle shark wants hugs. I didn't even see. <laughs> Tentacle shark wants a hug. water. Starting to get good here. I should, uh... I'm just gonna put salt in there. Also going to ooh, 
How much did I need to make the exterior grow bed? Because what we're gonna do now is we're about to you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. We were gonna start growing our own creep vine. Basically, what this is going to let us do is instead of having to swim all the way out here to restock a to restock the bioreactor, I can just pop out and you know, just pop out and grab some plants. Also make uh, make a container in here for just holding biomass. That biomass, though. Oh, yeah, let's go. And up here. This doesn't destabilize things. Cool, it didn't. Why can't I put that there? What's in the way right here? literally where I just put the biomass locker. Time to start gearing up for having a nuclear reactor in here. Some bulkheads. Just a sort of a How much should I need to actually make the silicon rubber? Just one three pine seed, okay.
fish. Good fish. Large filtered water. Oh, those are so good. <laughs> Unpin all. And let's build a nuclear reactor. supplies here because we need another plastic ingot. Stop doing that! There. Oop. Okay, there we go. Mobile vehicle bay. Let's make the aquarium module. This will allow us to just pick up fish along and along as we're driving around. Yeah, look at you. Ain't you cool? Took you up to the truck. Sea truck becomes even better. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, we need. Let's put these up. I got those so I can make batteries. Elena. In 
search of. To be perfectly honest, we could always use more. Boy, I need to make some uh, first aid kits at some point, maybe. critters who have wanted a hug. you to not become irradiated by the power source that I am building. Okay. Now... We need Argentite. And a Lithium. I know where the Lithiums are. make it there and back with a little bit of speed so what we're gonna do is I want to drag I do kind of want to drag the new module around with me doing its job already. Silver. Silver. Nope, no titanium. We're gonna need copper. because that's an advanced wiring kit. Alright. Oh god, why did I leave that thing in my inventory? Okay. Calvarite out here? There's a whole neat cave full of it earlier. by 
coming back home and making a few things. Those actually got uh, their backgrounds. Last deal. Take some glass. As we can. Why not? Wiring kit. Copper wire. Basic plant pots. Yeah, basic. I can... wait. Can I plant the potatoes in those? I hope so. If we can, I don't just let me open. I want to put that up. Oh, my God. I can grow potatoes. <laughs> can grow potato now. Potato is good. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, boil them, boil them, boil them, mash them, boil them, boil them. There's my resource waggler. If I need titanium, there's a whole lot of little scrap bits that I can just plink for it. Was this the cave that was so full of... <laughs> no, I didn't get there. North Koreans have a folk song about King Potato, as the potato also saved them from famine once upon a time. That is some interesting trivia, actually. I did not know that. Thank you, Gilbot. Bringing some uh, class and some education to this stream. Mine took the song as performed by a small North Korean boy and remixed in some techno style beats. It was amazing. Well, alright then. Uh, 
Hey, who left the headlights on? I was just gonna... You're gonna burn out the battery. Growing them Chinese potatoes. For the rest of my plant. I seem to recall we had a few more potatoes. In the thing. And it's just nice to have food options. Jesus, okay, we had a lot of potato. Wiring kit. My trains now. some point too, just to, just to have it in here. There's our boy. Now, let's take a quick jump back over to the Mercury. Moves a little slower now. That's what the horsepower upgrades for whenever we can finally find all the pits, the pieces for it. Two sections of the Mercury. Were there two sections, or was it just like that I came around one half of it and then came back up the other side of it and didn't recognize it? We'll see. So 
when I came around it from that side, it didn't look familiar, but maybe just coming around it from this side, we'll find that uh, opening that I was using before, and it'll look familiar. Okay, so this ship is in multiple pieces, apparently. Is that what I'm getting here? piece of it hanging off of one of these. There it is. Like, I remember finding it, like, unexpectedly. But now, we have a whole lot of oxygen. So now I actually feel comfortable diving around inside of this thing without immediately dying. When you're working off of like 45 seconds of air, like, okay, go a little bit down and gotta leave. And go a little bit down and gotta leave. Robin, I have something important to share. Another artifact? Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Feels like it... This also feels like a different art. It's weird. Where's the door with the prawn suit laying next to it? How much ship is there? The thing is, I kind of wanted to go finish off that, uh, the section we had spotted prior. Should have brought beacons. Should have brought. Wait, there it is. Okay, okay, this was the one we were at. We were just on this side of it. <laughs> Fish. New creature discovered. Wait, shit. It's edible. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Open sealed doors. The 
is all kind of neat. too far out. From the safe ability to return to anything resembling shelter. that can swim through solid metal. Nice. fish at home. This is the point where I should probably start looking for a way back to the sea truck. So we're over half air. can fit the sea truck itself in there that like this is a stupid idea. No. no let's not let's not get the sea truck stuck. Took to, re to full refill the air tank. All right, so I just cut this door open. So let's actually go through it this time. PPAs. I'm guessing the glass is still intact there. for my nuclear reactor, cop. Ooh. Nice. 
guess just to find out some copper wire. Synthetic fibers that I don't have to craft. That, oh, that's nice. That was a thing I needed for something. Um, what was it that I needed those for? I guess I'll find out in a bit. Um, Cutable. So, like it, was it a sea truck upgrade? Was it? I don't remember what it was. I know. got a whole crop growing back home. Wait, is that... Nothing it's something. I thought it would be the interior grow bed plan. Anyway. I'm gonna go see what's down that, but we're running low on air, so let's uh and bump home back to I want one more I want one more bronze here. Rod. Aw. Well, that's sad. One of the great things about having that aquarium. Reinforced dive suit. That was one of the other things that I needed. Don't need to make uh, nuclear rods for a while. We just uh, just got them. Interesting, interesting. We're ripping open a fuse box here. I wonder what's in that. Processing unit for it. 
So we get to find out what the hell that is. Man, I just, I dig the cave music, man. It's just... kit and power cell. nice we can start having spare we get to where we can start having spare set up in the in the charger oxygen plant need that cannot is that really a okay that is a sealed door that you just can't cut so that's environmental Second, unload things we found. Uh, uh. I'm like sad about the depleted uh, I feel sad about the depleted rods. Another fish. Mm. Delicious. And now I want to check out where this prawn suit punched a hole in the ground. This just uh another way through ways I've already come. Okay. I think. At the very least we can go back through. Yep, okay, yeah, we were just through here. So I think I think we've just cleared this thing. Anything cool? Maybe we have landed on some titanium ore. That's good. I like that. That's happy times. 
The titanium ore, meh. The pile of copper there, I'll take it. Well, let's get the hell out from under this uh, downed vessel. Let's head on back. Would have loved there to be one more prawn suit fragment out there, but hey. Can't always get what you want. That's why I love having the uh, cargo module. And now... Let's take a nice, relaxing drive back home. Unload our findings. Swap around some batteries. Maybe make an advanced dive suit. No, I needed I needed more pieces for that than I actually have right now, so we're not gonna make that tonight. That'll be for next week. Ooh, that's weird. Sounds like it's near something that doesn't want me here. Copper ore. Oh, yeah. It's those solid deposits that you need the bronze suit drill to get. Here's the other half of the mercury. Which we will also be doing next week. This game is so chill until you're piloting around whatever the hell those things are out there. I want to scan them at some point. But without access to a stasis rifle or a pulser gun to knock them away when they decide to get angry about it, we're not playing that game. Said we're just gonna take ourselves a nice little nice little stroll on home. We want some lead at some point so we can we can make the nuclear waste containment unit. deal with those rods that uh, are already depleted what we found. Swinging her in for a quick dive. Uh, 
Those look so cool, just all glowing red. Welcome aboard, Captain. Potato. Parallel processing unit component used in various test devices. Interesting. Looks like I found something fun on that ship. found a lot of good stuff. Next week. We're going to be doing a little clean up there. Just want to unpin the the damn nuclear reactor. Take that off the bed. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple of diamonds. And some lead. We're gonna make that advanced dive suit. We're gonna make that nuclear disposal so I can dispose of nuclear waste. I will eventually figure out what the hell the thermos is for. That was weird. Don't know why we came in laying down. trips in here. Yeah. The sea base continues to grow. And we continue to get more and more range on our ability to explore, because with the sea truck modules expanding, we're just going to end up with sea truck modules are expanding, so we got mobile storage, fabrication, and food collection. And back at base, we have now what is practically an infinite source of drinking water. To the point that I don't have to catch bladder fish anymore. So, that being said, save. And, yeah. I think that's where I'm going to call it today. I went a little bit over, but honestly, I was having a lot of fun. So, I do need to call it, because... I am going to have to get up kind of early in the morning. Because I got a turkey to cook. Hey. Hey, Shreen, thanks for coming out. Oh, hey, my little boy. Oh, somebody's been having his kitten dreams.
Well, I've been dealing with laser beams. Yeah. So yeah, I will see everybody. Uh, Mega Man's not going to be tomorrow. Mega Man's going to be Sunday. So, we're going to put that out there. And it, Mega Man's also going to have kind of a hard cutoff time. If I finish four earlier than four hours, then I'm going to go ahead and call it there. They got a friend I got to pick up from the airport on Sunday. So, there is a hard cutoff at five o'clock. So, one to five is going to be exactly the maximum runtime of Mega Man 4 on Sunday. So yeah, I will see y'all then. And till then, I will deal with the laser beams and Gizmo will deal with the kitten dreams. So laser beams and kitten dreams, everyone. Stream out. <laughs>